how cute is this peekaboo? Is this on your wish list for 2022? Because I'm definitely considering it. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to a mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I'll be reviewing my love of handbags. Today I'm checking out the brand Vendi and I want to go check out the store itself. There's a couple bags that have been on my wish list, at least I've been seeing it all over social media and I just want to check it out in person for myself if it is as nice and as beautiful as it looks on social media. So let's start off by checking out on the website what are some things I want to check out when I actually get to the website or sorry the store. I'm so excited. So as always if you enjoy the content on this channel please consider like subscribe and sharing it will really help a lot. So on with our shopping experience at Vendi. So like I mentioned we're gonna check out the website first. I'm gonna check out the Fendi verse. It's such a iconic, I feel like it's more of a runway bag. I don't see myself using it as a mommy and going to a playground with it. Um, but the Fendi verse has this really sophisticated aesthetic and I love how it comes in all these different types of leather. There's a metallic leather that I don't think I would ever use or this furry one that looks like a plush doll but I really like the pastel perfect colors that I'm seeing I'm gonna go check those out it comes in multiple sizes I think I will usually probably lean towards smaller bags when I'm given a choice and then there's a small and a medium a medium is four thousand four hundred dollars Canadian it comes in multiple colors I am worried about the bag because I'm concerned about how it will work, especially when they use leather to wrap around the hardware where you open it. So I wonder how long it will wear. Um, but I do love how unique it is. I wonder if that corner will hurt if I put it underneath my arm or use it as a crossbody. Looks like it could be a weapon, but <laughs> with that said, I do hurt myself very regularly uh, by accident. So. I think it does look really nice as a clutch, so it's going to be one of the bags I'm going to be checking out when I head to the store. Another bag I want to be checking out when I head to the store is, of course, the Peekaboo. I've heard so many things about the Peekaboo. It was the first bag I ever set my eyes on when I went to check out Fendi or hearing about it on social media. The Peekaboo comes in many different sizes. There's the small and also the mini like, and also um, the medium and then now they have the ICU series. So when I go to the store, I'm probably going to look towards the mini and the small if it's available. The small came out more, free, um, more I guess, more recently. And it comes in the ICU and I want to compare the difference between the two bags with the Iconic Mini and the ICU Small. Um, price wise, the ICU Small is around $5,800 and the Mini is around $5,200. So when you get to that price point, um, a $600 difference, I don't know if it's going to be some make or break. I think it really depends on your love for the bag. It does give me a little bit of a Hermes vibe for these bags but I don't know if that's the reason I'll be getting it if I do get it but I do want to check out how these bags look in person. I'm gonna have a look at some of the difference between the bags and um, I at the ICU one I can see that the leather strip on the top it's a little bit different and also if you look at the side the accordion um, style Stitching is a little different compared to the more like pillowy stitching that you see in the mini. I'm pretty excited. The only caveat is I don't know how I might be a f just admiring this bag from afar because from a mommy's point of view, I don't love top handles because I don't like the idea of just kind of clutching it in my hand or on my arm. I just like to have my hands free, which is why I love crossbody. I think this bag looks a lot better as a bag that you hold in your hand on your arm versus the crossbody, even though it comes with a crossbody strap. I don't know. I think I have to kind of see it for myself. So let's go check out the store. 
So when I arrive at the store, I am blown away by the display in the Fendi store. Everything is just so beautiful. I love the vibrant colors associated with the brand. And they still have some neutral colors like black and camel that tailors to audience that kind of looking for more classics. Um, the salesperson was very friendly and she offered to show me different colors besides the one they have on display. I just started checking out some of the colors they have on display at the moment and I was so excited to see that they have a peekaboo in both the small, the medium, and also the mini that I was looking for. So here they are and you can see that the size is definitely quite different and also the styling of it there are some minor differences that you will notice between the small which is the newer ICU one versus the mini I personally still leaning towards the mini because I think that the mini looks really cute and I I like how it just looks a bit more pillowy so here is the mini one I'm looking at. You notice that the, there is a fold for the leather on the top and you can see there's two compartments inside. I don't know if I'll actually be using the compartments and locking it. I just don't see it being that convenient for me to reach in and grab what I need from the bag. On the bottom, you can see that there's no feet on it. So I am a little bit concerned about the wear and tear on the bottom. Now this one on the side is the the small the ICU one so you can see there is stitching on the top rather than like the folded leather and then on the side is accordion style that's more stitched whereas the mini and the red on the left here you can see it doesn't have that ridge in the middle so that's the main difference I still think that they are both really cute especially as a top handle I think it looks so ladylike and such a classic, classic silhouette and I was there for a while admiring these bags because like I mentioned these were the bags that really draw me to the brand in the first place so you can see here is the medium version of it and you can see it has a bridge on the top with the stitching with the, like so it's not the folded leather that you see in the mini right there on the top they're quite different like the ridge here is folded up and then the one on top is stitch and then again the sides look different so which one do you guys like do you like the one the mini with the more pillowy feel or do you like a more rigid structure bag with the ridge uh, on the side I'd like to know, please comment below, which one would you get if you have a choice? If budget was not an issue, which bag would you get? But I think that um, if you look at the ICU small, apparently according to the salesperson, it's way more popular and sought after. It's a more structured bag. So maybe it'll last a bit longer, especially with the corners not being as, um, I guess stitched together in like a bulgy kind of bulgy baggy manner that you will see in the mini it's easier to see it to, than to for me to verbally explain it but I had such a lovely time at the store just looking at the beautiful products they have there including straps and then the beautiful scarves and all the different types of patterns and colors to see and it's great to see how people have come up with these beautiful design for people to enjoy and admire i feel like fendi is real a um, really visionary artistic brand so great to see some of the fendi first in person um seeing it on the shelf is just is so beautiful it's definitely a quite a structured bag on top. In the beginning, as I'm looking at it, I was trying to figure out how do you open this bag. Um, it wasn't until I play around with it a little bit more that I figured it out. So it wasn't, I would say it wasn't intuitive at first sight, but they have a couple of different colors of the Fendi first.
and some sunglasses available as well as the baguette this one is a super pretty sequins one with a magnetic closure and then some sequins peekaboos as well and then checking out these smaller fits and some more more classic i would say colors that are like brown and camels i thought i'll check those out as well and it's so cute with that little keychain bag on the side i think i will take one last look around at some of the bags i didn't get a chance to focus on including this beautiful fendi first with a metallic color and these ones i looked at earlier before and then this gold tote one which i think is so unique with the handle there and there's the price is three thousand nine hundred eighty dollars canadian and they have silver as well it's a bit too flashy for me but hey i what's to say a girl can't admire some pretty bags there's some Fendi first mini purses there or mini wallets I would say so cute and then look at this cute tiny peekaboo definitely not as functional I don't know what I would put in it like chapsticks I don't I wouldn't put hand sanitizer on it but let's check it out this one's priced at 1890 I don't think it would be in my budget to get something like this at least for the size that what you get but i would say it's a very nice to admire from afar and then there's this other peekaboo as well with these beautiful artistic patterns on it it's so unique however i'm worried about these patterns and designs being a little bit more seasonal it may not fare well over time with the classics I would love to hear from you if you have a Vendi first or a peekaboo and do you like it or if it's on your wish list what size do you think would be best in your opinion or like most popular or a good investment bag in general a lot of times I'm looking for bags now but I want to make sure that let's say a year or two years down the road I don't use it as often I have the option selling it and it'll still be at a comparable price so I would love to hear from you if you have any suggestions for if you were to start a Fendi collection where to start what's the first bag and what the size you would suggest and any material um, or colors that you think will be more versatile so I would love to hear from you and like always take care and stay safe everyone bye now